Hi, I'm Megan. Um, I've been sober for six months. And I started taking Percocet as prescribed, you know, for the pain. And I started to like them. And then I started to abuse them. Ran out of Percocets and ran out of money. And cheaper, quicker alternative was move on to heroin. I, I had hit what they call that rock bottom. There was just nowhere else to go. I, j I get so overwhelmed with um, God's grace, you know, that he's, he's given me. And like this second chance at life that I have, I mean, just what a subtle, what a turnaround. I mean, my, my son, he, he had absolutely no time for me. I mean, even at this young age, he was wanted nothing to do with me. But now it's like I go to walk out the door and he's like, no, mommy, I'll miss you. I, I, I just, I don't know, I just like, such a deeper understanding of myself and, and how to relate to other people and, and how it relates to me and just the world around me. I just, I don't know. It's all different from, from the first time. Take it from me. I mean, I, I didn't think there was hope. I didn't think there was hope for me. I didn't think there was anything left for me. And I, I thought I had come to the end of my ropes. And here I am. I'm about to work on a whole new chapter in life. And, uh, you know, I'm turning the page at almost 40 years old and getting to start over and I have my family back in my life and friends that I didn't talk to for years. It's just, um, it's just incredible. It's amazing when, when you give yourself a chance. You give yourself a chance. Give yourself a break. Give yourself a chance. Um, I'm getting the chills. <laughs> what, what, uh, what life can, you know, bring you. What you can do for yourself.